This is a daffodil made from wafer paper, and I'm using yellow paper that was printed to be, be yellow um, when I got it. So I didn't print this, and if you use paper that's printed with food coloring on the surface of it, it can smear. So if you're going to do this and you don't have yellow paper, I would recommend doing it with white and then dusting it yellow afterwards because that will prevent the ink from smearing, basically. The food coloring won't smear. All right, so I have one strip. I'm doing the piping gel on it and put the second strip on there. And then I am going to, it looks like, this is glycerin and water diluted one to 30. So it's just a tiny bit of glycerin in the water. It just makes the paper a little bit flexible. And I'm just gonna brush over this a tiny bit because you don't need to get this super wet. And if you get it too wet, it's going to melt. And I think I might've even put too much on here because if the paper starts to bubble, you can see right toward the middle, it's starting to bubble. So now I've got the paper towel and you can also take some cornstarch and kind of dust the cornstarch on there and that will absorb the extra water. Um, so I am going to cut the petals out. Now, if you look at a daffodil, it's a strange flower. There are six petals and the center is kind of shaped like a cup. It's, it's very odd. So if you have the opportunity to look at a real daffodil, that's the best way to do it. And the hard thing with wafer paper is that you can't frill that top edge. So I'm just gonna take some shaped scissors here and I'm just cutting a little bit of notching in there. If I really wanted to take the time to do this, which I don't, I'm going to do like an extra piece of paper and attach it to that edge and kind of frill that. So I'll frill that little top edge. I might actually do a more realistic one. This one is fine. This is not the super realistic flower, but it's fine for spring flower arrangements, that kind of thing, um, in, in a group. I would not make this like a super realistic flower. I wouldn't tell people, yeah, I can make a realistic daffodil because frilling that outside edge on a daffodil is pretty much impossible with wafer paper. Okay, so now I've got the uh, paper here and see what happens here is you can you can turn it over like you could take the top edge and make it curl out a little bit but just because of the fact that you can't stretch the wafer paper it's never going to look like a real daffodil unless you do a little extra tricks to it but i've got the flowers okay i've taken the petals i've wired them and now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna make it into a cup by pressing it around my finger. And the way a real daffodil, I said it's a weird flower, it's, it's shaped like the, the inside part that's the bell. It, it, I'm not sure what they call that, but it, it actually kind of comes down like a cup with a stem and then it goes into the stem and then the petals come out around it. So that inside part is kind of rounded at the bottom and that's what I'm doing here with my finger. I'm just pressing it around and I'm shaping it that way. And there are other ways to do this. You can do this many ways, but this is what I did. And I, I think if I really wanted to make it super realistic, what I would do is go back and add that edge, like I was talking about, to the very top of it. But this is fine, like I said, for flower arrangements where you just want the yellow and it's obviously a daffodil. And we're gonna do the center after we do this, just because I thought that that was an easier way to do it. So now I've got this little cup. I'm gonna press it down here so that it's pretty flat on the bottom. And we're going to attach it to the petals. So you wanna spread these petals out so that they're relatively you know, well spread apart because once you put that center on it, it's gonna be hard to move them around. And if you just take the top three, there should be like three at the top and three underneath. And for this, I'm using wafer paper glue, which is just melted wafer paper in water. And I'm going to kind of try to attach it to three and then kind of leave three petals individual, like free of the glue, but that doesn't always work. So just put the petals where you want them because if they attach themselves to that center while you're doing this, it's gonna be hard to move them once that glue dries. So just make sure that they're positioned the right way and that's that's how you can do that now you could do this with the center wired and then the petals taped onto them as individual petals also so this is just one way to do it clearly there's you know there's never just one way to do anything so there's that i didn't vein these pet oh, I, maybe i did vein these petals no i think that's just the wire in them i didn't vein these petals because it again when the wafer paper is wet it'll look very veined but then when it dries out it it doesn't look right and see, I tore that one, but you can fix that. Okay, so now to make the center, I looked at a real daffodil in my yard and they have like these three little stamen kind of things on the inside, okay? 
So I'm just folding this around. I think I made these too fat, but that's okay. It looks all right. So you can make these thinner if you want to find a real daffodil and really look at it. But you need to make three of these. And see, I'm just using these little tiny wires with hooks on the end and yellow wafer paper with some edible glue. And again, this is just wafer paper glue. I could, you could use piping gel, you could use corn syrup, whatever you want to use. Water, sometimes water works uh, just by itself. But for this, we're just using wafer paper glue and I'm just making three of these and that's going to be the centers on the inside because the stamens are, um, it, it's a weird stamen. I, you know, I, I rarely look at daffodils that closely, but I did this year because when they came out, I was like, okay, I'm going to kind of take a look and see what they really look like. And most flowers have one feature that is the most identifiable and people kind of look at that. So if you get that one piece of it correct, you can kind of, you know, fudge the other parts. And this little stamen is kind of an interesting part of that. So anyway, you put the three of them together, twist it a little bit, and then we're going to insert it through the flower. And that's going to be the center of it. And you can use this for other types of flowers too. Um, I'm trying to think, well, maybe you're going to do like the hydrangea with the center of the hydrangea. That's how you would do it if you wanted a large one, but you're just going to stick this right down through the middle. And since the, the petals are all wired individually, it's pretty easy to stick that through. And then you're just going to tape that white wire to the other wire and connect it all together. And like I said, you could do this so that the stamens are, and my, my tape is old, you could do this so that the stamens are wired and then you put the little bell around it and then wire, or then you tape the petals onto it. So there's other ways to do it, but I just, this is how I did it this time. And this will just give you a little daffodil to use in some kind of a flower arrangement. So leave me any questions and I will answer them when I get a chance.